What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And in this video, I'm going to do something different than I normally do. Now, many of you may recall that I said that I was going to a Comic Con over the weekend. And so what I thought I'd do is a comic book haul. So I've watched these videos, but I've never done one myself. Basically, I just want to show you what I picked up. And I got quite a few books, and they were all at amazing prices. Now, a lot of these you're also going to recognize because they're part of the comic cover collections for many different lockbox heroes. So that was one of my priority when I was looking through all the boxes. First up, we got Infinity, number one, and this is the Variant Edition. It's called the General's Variant. And we tried to get all the tags off, but this one says $9. I actually got it for half price. Or a little over half price. It was around $6 maybe. And to be honest with you, that's an incredible price for this variant. In fact, I should have looked for more. So that's one of my regrets. But there you have it, Infinity number one. After that, we have one of the Winter Soldier covers, and that's Captain America number 619. A pretty cool cover, and just before it goes to Captain America and Bucky. Not a very expensive comic here, but I was happy to pick it up. For the next cover, we have Captain America and Bucky number 621. And this is a pretty amazing cover. I love that Bucky's riding in the sidecar, and he has the American flag. Pretty awesome. Once again, not very expensive. I actually paid around half price on this as well. So it was only $3.50 marked down. So I think it would have been, I don't know, like $2, let's say. After that, we have Captain America and Bucky number 624. So we're making pretty good progress in the Winter Soldier collection. But that's not all. We also managed to pick up Captain America and Bucky number 626. So yeah, I know I haven't posted on the Comics Amino app for a while, but I'm going to be updating a lot of these comic cover collections. So we'll start adding more photos of that soon. I just got really busy and my PC had to be reset, so I was going through all sorts of stuff. But anyways, the Comic Con was great and it definitely had me back in good spirits. Now, keeping in line with Captain America, we got Captain America and the Falcon number 192. And even I myself was wondering, why did I get this book? It was on my list, but I didn't know why. So I looked it up, and I believe it's the first appearance of Carla Sofen, aka Moonstone. So that's why I picked this one up. This is supposed to be her first appearance. Next, I managed to get the Defenders number three. And once again, I'm not sure why I had this on my list, but it is a pretty epic cover, and I love the Defenders personally. So I'm lucky enough to have their very first appearance, which I believe is Marvel premiere number one. But we'll have to take a look at that sometime when I'm showing off keys. That is, if you like these kind of videos, just let me know. Now this book I thought was incredible looking. I really loved the what if storylines and this cover was just so cool. So I was very happy to find it. It's one I wasn't sure if I was going to find. But it is part of the Doctor Doom collection and it's what if Doctor Doom had become the thing. So that's just number one in a miniseries. Or a one shot I should say. After that we have Dark Rain Electra number one variant edition. And I don't think the variant is part of her comic cover collection, but this was very cheap and I had to pick it up. Don't worry, we're going to see more of Electra's covers though, her official ones. For one, here's the Marvel Knights Electra number one, and it is part of her comic collection. Once again, I couldn't get the price completely off, and I'm going to rebag and reboard all these comics anyway. But I actually paid around $3.50 for this, not $6. So I think I got pretty much every single book on discount. And that's another reason why I love conventions. But there it is, one of Electra's comic cover collection pieces. Next up, this is the Dark Rain Electra book that's in the comic cover collection. So the non-variant cover. It's pretty awesome, I have to say. 
I don't even know which one I like better, but I'm happy I got both. Next up is another Doctor Doom cover. It's Fantastic Four number 551. This is a really epic cover, and of course, since it's so late in the series, it wasn't expensive at all. So I was happy to pick that one up too. Now for one of the special books that I was able to get, as far as the Electra Collection, and this one's actually in the top loader, it's going to be The Death of Electra, Daredevil number 181. And this one actually is the version that has the UK price on the top. So it's the same book, but it's a little bit different in the guide. Either way, I'm extremely happy to get it, and I just think it's awesome. After that, we have Infinity Heist number two. And I believe this is part of Constrictors, or Blizzards. I'm not sure, but it's one of their collections. Originally, I thought it was one of Thane's, but it definitely isn't on his collection. So yeah, I think it's actually going to be Blizzard. I think that's him on the right. But pretty cool. Another comic cover collection piece. After that, we do have definitely a Constrictor comic cover. And this is the Incredible Hulk number 212. It's in really good shape. And didn't cost a lot at all. Only a couple dollars. So this is just an awesome cover, regardless of it being part of the comic cover collections. Very happy to get this one. The same thing goes for this, but not quite as classic as the other. It's the Howard the Duck Holiday Special, featuring Howard and Santa. So just check that thing out in real life. Pretty incredible. You gotta love Howard. Then we did get a book that's not part of any collection, which we got a few, you'll see. But this is Fear Itself FF. And it has the original Angerer. And I just always thought he looked amazing as one of the worthy. Don't get me wrong though, Damon's great. He's actually very overpowered. But still, a lot of the originals were maybe even better. Now this is another book that I can't exactly tell you why I got it. But it's The Incredible Hulk number 234. And I believe it has something to do with Quasar. Either his first appearance or maybe... The person who becomes Quasar. I'm not quite sure. I'm only vaguely familiar with him. I remember reading some books that had him as a kid. But I don't know a ton about him. So once again, a pretty awesome book. And I do love New Mutants. So we have quite a few of those. And this is one we are missing for sure. He would be awesome for the game though, by the way. Then we picked up the New Mutants number 21. So once again, a pretty awesome book, and I do love New Mutants. So we have quite a few of those, and this is one we are missing for sure. After that, we have Marvel Team Up featuring Spider-Man and Daredevil, number 56. This is one of the Electro covers. It's actually one of my favorites in the collection. I mean, Spidey and Daredevil? That's tough to beat. So yeah, that's my comic book haul from this weekend. Like I said, I had a great time, and I'm happy to share it with you all. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please like, and subscribe if you haven't. That's it for now, but until next time, good luck, and take care.